All right, here we are at uh, the beginning of uh, the second term. Well, well, close to the second term. We have, we can either help Nanaki or do a bunch of other stuff. I'm just gonna return to my glorious abode or whatever. Forgive me, sir, but I need to go home. I must return to my people with the spoils of war. Lay my bloody sword at the feet of my great king and celebrate my conquest of all lands from here to distant Macedo M M Macedonia. Macedonia, M Macedonia, I don't know. Oh, uh, have fun. Yeah, just don't question it, just just go. <laughs> Alright, once again we're gonna go um, with the gym class over here. Let's see, we're gonna meet Oko-san. Today is volleyball day. Cool! Take this! Oko-san smash! How about you? Oh, uh, I finally managed to block Oko-san's attacks over here. Wow, do I feel accomplished today. Wow, do I feel good right now. Cool, cool! A beautiful autumn day for all those. You're in a good mood, Oko-san. Cool! Oko-san was granted a vision in his dreams. Uh, a vision? Cool! A vision from Lord Pudi himself. Do you know the legend of Lord Pudi, Misha? Cool! Clad in feathers of the purest white, his golden pudding steed shining like the sun itself. Um. Uh, okay, so we have. We, have, we actually have like a completely different decision over here, so. I, I think we are on a good track over here. Um. And uh, just to not fuck this up. Well. You know, my first. Uh, my de my first decision, I think it would have been, and the pudding is invincible and such. But I'm probably not gonna have to go with this one unless we he returns. I don't know what happens if I choose the the different uh, the the other decision over there. But uh, let's see. Hopefully, hopefully this list isn't like a like a screw you. We <laughs> we made you fail and such. I hope that this uh, this list is like a hundred percent accurate in order to get the true ending. At last he returns to his lost home, guiding to the pigeons to the pure, promised land. Coco! Yes! Yes! Misha knows the legend! Cool! The Lord of Pudding appeared in Okosan's dreams! The pudding must be nearby! Coco! Okosan believes that one day Misha might meet the pudding lord too! Cool! Okosan must not go! Farewell! Alright. And he's gone. What? What was that Lord of Pudding thing? I don't know, Johnny. I, uh... Oh, wait, okay. Well, we're already jumping, um... To the school festival here. Our class decided to do a maid cafe. I'm not scheduled to work. Okay, well, I don't think that... Hmm, let's see. Is this uh, gonna change, like, anything? Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on, we have uh, Oko-san over here. I don't think we've had him before. We only seen um, we've only seen uh, Ryota like uh, at this point. Kaku! Unhand Oko-san, unhand him at once! An all too familiar battle cry emanates from one corner of the classroom. What now? Mesha, just in time. Ah, help me! Go! Unhand Oko-san or face the consequences! <laughs> we see Oko-san with that dress as well. Oko-san is on duty today, but he, he doesn't like the dress. Go! Go! Ah, ah, this is... This is kind of like, uh, looking like something Peter would start a protest over. <laughs> a good one. Actually, not really, but good one. Anyway. Um... Cool! Okasa refuses this constricting garments! Real men fight in new in the nude! Yeah! Yeah, real my fight in the nude! I am a skeleton, I know what you're saying, brother! High five! Well, actually... Uh, well... Uh... Palm... Five... Like... Uh... Claw... Thing... How do you even do a high five with a bird? That is the question of the day. How do you do 
Uh, how do you do a high five with a bird? You can't go commando in a maid cafe. Come on, look, it suits you. I whip out my mirror and hold it in front of him. <laughs> he seems, he seems awfully. He, he's trying to court his own be made the reflection. <laughs> Well, apparently that was a pretty common thing for pigeons back in the day. I, uh, I don't know what he's talking about. Okay. He's never tried to court me. I guess I'm not as attractive as Maid Okosan. Sort of like Narcissus. Man, I am I'm smoking with jokes over here. I am on fire. Today is the track day. I wonder if... Uh... Oh, okay, so we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have this um, this uh, bird over here shoe. You want me a shoe over here that is gonna make us drink steroids? I don't know. Like you would think that steroids would have like. Well, actually, you will see in just a second. In, in case you never watched like the initial playthrough, well, welcome to my channel, and hopefully you're gonna have like a like a nice staying over here. Like, watching me talk with birds over here, <laughs> I guess. Ooh! Okosan has no need for those! Cool! Bring Okosan pudding! Or bring nothing at all! As you can see, your captain doesn't want them. I prepared this just for him, and I really like to see how his body will react to it. Cool! Okosan doesn't he said he doesn't want it! It smells weird! Go! Have me sure to get this stand. Why oh, oh, me? Come on, come on. Oh man, well, I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink it. In the name of Ogosan, I'm gonna drink this. Whatever. Anything to make the doctor get lost. <coughs> no! What are you doing? That's not for humans. Cool! Ogosan knew he could trust you, Misha. You're his greatest ally. Yuck! <laughs> what was in that? And uh, Misha leveled up. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, okay, yeah. Uh, that's uh, that's what we got last time as well. We got the wisdom for drinking steroids, which you think that at first you would think that uh, it would increase your vitality. I mean, increase your your wisdom. That's not really an effect of uh, of steroids, but but uh, I can only assume that there there are more types of steroids. Uh, than uh, your usual one that you already know. Except, maybe it has like a different effect on me. Hmm. Speaking of that theory from before about the bird invasion, or maybe it's like an infection. Maybe everybody got turned into birds except me. Maybe I have, I have something completely different. Maybe I'm in, immune to this bird, like, disease and such. Maybe I have some, some, something special. I don't know. And the fact that uh, that steroids have like a completely different uh, effect on me, other than your usual steroids and such. Maybe that's that has something to do with it. But I think once again, I'm probably thinking way too much on this subject. So let's just uh, continue with this. Race you to the field, Okasan. Cool. Uh, because of because of the increase in wisdom of you. Actually, it doesn't even matter. You, you go only to gym class. You, you basically take those uh, steroids, and basically you can get past the final exam without ever going to math class before. And well, actually, hold on, hold on a second. I don't think we've had this before. We, um, we have like a completely different moment over here. It's all raining, and I'm inside the cave. Happy New Year! But but it's raining. Oh well, I I'd go to the shrine, but this weather makes the wilderness dangerous. I think I'll sleep in a, in like a good girl instead. I won't be able to send out cards in this rain either. Fill sticks. Wait, how? <laughs> how does that make sense? I mean, in the initial playthrough, it was all sunny and such, and we were able to send cards, but now it's all raining. I mean, what have I done in the in this particular playthrough to? To make it all rain. Maybe it's destiny. Maybe... Maybe it's like the butterfly effect. 
Like, everything changes <laughs> that I made, like, complete. Now that I made a com completely different decision over here. And that's it. Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you had a... Yeah, we actually completed with that. I thought that something special would happen there. What a shocker. Yeah, what a shocker. Something happened. Something happening in this game. <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna um, skip over this. I don't think that there's, like, anything special over here. There's nothing special this summer, sir. Nothing to worry about, except the ending that we're gonna get in, in just a second over here. Let's see. Heart of a boyfriend. All right, so we're back... Uh... We're actually back at uh, the Bean's decision over here, and, uh, well, just like last time, I'm gonna choose the Swollen Hemp, because apparently, well, uh, yeah, uh, the Swollen Hemp is uh, actually the best decision uh, in order to mm, make Okosan happy. I mean, with the other stuff you can make Okosan happy, but apparently it's not enough. <laughs> apparently you need, like, a, like, the ultimate beating from Okosan to make it so that uh, the moment will last even longer. That he will be, that he will be looking at you with respect because of the swollen help. And well, yeah, uh, the rest of the decisions they all act the same. So we shall go with the swollen help over here. I don't even know what is a swollen help. I, I actually never had that before. But anyway, let's see. Let's uh, go and talk to Okasan over here. I'm gonna offer him this. Okasan, Okasan, wait. Cool! What is it? Akasan was about to escape into the great outdoors! I have something for you. It's legumin teens, remember? Here, hemp seeds. Huh! Cool! Shh. Ow, ow, ow! Ooh. He seems extremely excited. Akasan, um, a, a lot uh, happened since we met last, last, uh, last spring. The semester's almost over, but I hope we can. Ow! Enough flirtations! Head over to hemp and no one gets hurt! He leaps at me, grabbing the packages, scattering its contents across the floor. Such an animal. Such a bird. He pecks at the seeds with emotion and speed reminis reminiscent of a jackhammer. I don't think he's going to listen to my confession over here. Maybe I should have told him before I let him see the seeds. Oh well. At least he's happy. Mm -hmm. Cool! Misha is an angel of the pudding god! Come to this world to spread joy and goodwill! Akasan will remember this gift forever! I seem to have re earned his lifelong trust with him. That's pretty cheap, lifelong trust. Pretty cheap, but very significant for... For... For our friend of Okosan over here. Time to coast along the toast spring break. Alright, well... Let's see, now we're back over here at this decision now. Actually, we can just uh, go over this one. Basically, Okosan is gonna quit over here. He is gonna go on a quest over here. And I'm gonna be like, What? And then Okosan is gonna be like, Okosan. Oka well, actually, no. Misha is gonna be like, Okosan, you can't do that. It was a miracle for someone with a brain like yours to get into the school in the first place. With a brain like yours. I, I don't even know if. <laughs> he. He, he keeps screaming at you and fighting you and just keeps eating beans from floors and... Do you think he is really... Okay, well, not to... Uh, I don't want to insult you, Okasan, but... I think that you're... Well, like usual, you're just gonna... I think you should uh, focus more on the gym class more. Just saying. Just saying. I think that you're gonna be, like, A+, plus on the gym classes and such. For the rest, eh, I don't know. But anyway, Okasan will not be stopped. Okasan is going on a quest to seek the true pudding. All right, it's time for the final thing over here. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna go with him. I'm gonna go with him and seek the true pudding as well. Hopefully something will happen over here. If nothing will happen over here, then I'm gonna be disappointed. All right, well. And I also have uh, my vitality over here. I have all that vitality. Yay! Let's go! Cool! Until we catch the end of the rainbow! And so our great quest began! We ran for years across fields, forests, and mountains, searching ever onwards. And now we stand in the ancient, unexplored ruins of Pudding. Go-go! 
This chest must contain the Puig itself. Help Okosan open the lid, Misha. So, this the end? Ha! <laughs> ah, it's bright. Cool! Eyes! Eyes! Could it be? Dot dot dot. Question mark? There's nothing inside. A fake? Well, what should we do, Okosan? I guess this... Okosan? Clad in feathers of the purest white, his golden pulling steed shining like the sun itself. Oh. At last he returns to his lost home, guiding the pigeons to the pure, promised land. What's going on? What's what's wrong, Okosan? Why are you talking? Now he talks like a human. I am no longer the one called Okosan. I am now Puri, Lord of Pudding. <gasps> so it seems that uh, that this Lord of Pudding that Okosan was talking about. Was actually Okosan himself! <gasps> Okosan was, was but my avatar on this mortal plane. I am now complete once more. Okosan, what, what are you? I am grateful to you, fair one. I have at last achieved my goal. I am the bringer of a true pudding. I shall bring about a world of pudding. What is this pudding you're talking about? Come on, tell me! Pudding is hope. It is the future. I shall now become the very concept of pudding itself. Th that's not Newtonian! I have enjoyed our travels together. However, you must live on and forget me. That is life. If you can fulfill the concept of pudding, I shall be satisfied. I shall not live or die. I shall be the concept of ideal pudding, never in wax or wane. There shall be no regret. Farewell. Misha. Okosan! And so the world was engulfed in pudding. According to the fundamental principles of Okosan's new universe, every living being carries pudding in its heart. <laughs>